How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to City Skylines. And welcome back to Nerd Shipping. There have been a couple of small changes between this episode and the last. Nothing too major, just a couple of changes to the area around the Metropolitan Airport. Specifically, I've gone ahead and put some roads around it. Well, a single road around it. As well as some fencing. And then some trees that come right up to the fences. So that if we zoom way out, it's kind of clear where the airport is. I mean, it was clear to begin with. It's not like you couldn't see it. It's not like it wasn't kind of obvious. But, you know, it's it just looks kind of neat. Also, we're getting that weird bug with the text on words here. So let's just go ahead and fix that. There we go. So now we can actually see the name of the district. And for the most part... I'm kind of happy with how this has worked out. I know I was talking about how I wasn't so sure about filling in this space. And I'll be honest, I'm still a little bit reluctant to go too crazy with all of this. I, I don't want to do any high-rise buildings in here because I think that would be a little bit ridiculous. But I do want to go ahead and I do want to put some stuff in here just so we can get a little bit of traffic coming out this way. Because right now there's basically none. And the reason there's basically none... Oh, by the way, also built a police headquarters, a fire station, and a bus depot as well. And I went ahead and changed the buses to be the Sitaro C11 for both of the lines that we have here now because one of these lines goes to the town and the other one goes to the village and I thought that was probably fair enough and to be honest I'm kind of surprised that people are actually coming over here and going to the buses at all but regardless I want to get some traffic coming out here I want people to start coming out this way I want them to start using the area and to do that, I'm going to have to put in some buildings. And it is going to be a little bit weird that they're not accessible from the highway. I, I will say, I think that's going to be kind of strange. But I think we're just going to have to deal with it, is what we're going to have to do. But to start with, what I'd also like to do is I want to go ahead and I want to put in some of... Where are they exactly? They're in here somewhere. I'm blind and can't see them. This right here, the medical helicopter depot, could be pretty good to have over this way. You know, put some emergency helicopters out in this direction. Or we could put them out here because we do have some helipads right there already. But I think we're going to go with this corner because it just seems like a better space for it. So let's go ahead and just put down the medical helicopters. Let's go ahead and put down the fire helicopters and then let's go ahead and put down the police helicopters as well they're not going to be staying in that particular layout right there but i do think it's going to be good to try and get all of these and actually looking at the police ones these could probably go out here if we're completely honest i think the police helicopters could go out there or way out there would even maybe be an option um let's well you know what let's do the Let's see, is this land even flat up here? Not really. Let's do the fire helicopter depot. And let's do it just up here. Which fortunately does sort of flatten out the land a little bit. Uh, but what I want to do with that is actually go to use prop it up here. And I want to take the trees out of this thing. Because I'm really trying to avoid having any trees inside the, uh, the boundaries of the airport and all of that. So if we go ahead and select you and turn off the conifers there. We go ahead and select you and turn off the conifers there. What that'll then let me do is grab this with move it. And just shuffle it along so it's properly in that corner right there. And we could even bring it a little further forward. Something like, like that. And then it just to me feels like it's a little bit more a part of the... Uh, of the road more than anything else. This one we can deal with in a minute. And this one, I mean, this one has fences around it. So if I move it, we do have to deal with the fences. That's not really the end of the world, though. Because what I reckon we could do, well, actually looking at it, it needs to move back. Oh, wow. That's going kind of weird with the fences there, huh? Okay. Well, that's fine. We'll not worry too much about that little nub of uh, of, of concrete there. 
But what we'll do is just go to move it again. We'll just grab the building and the surrounding nodes. And we'll just essentially set the entire thing to be the same height. So set to that height right there. It is going to mess with the terrain a little bit, but that's probably fine. I think if I hit it with a smoothing brush, there's not really going to be too much to worry about there. So we'll just hit it with a good old smoothing brush and see if that fixes things. Maybe bring the strength up or the size up a little bit. And just keep on keeping on with this thing and see how that looks. So we do still have this weirdness going on here. Okay. Well, what if we try and flatten it out? Let's see if that does anything. We'll bring the brush size down a bit. Try and flatten this entire thing. Make sure the strength is pretty good. And then just hit it with this again. And it gets a bit weird again. But I guess that's just going to be the way of it. It's relatively level, so I'm not too stressed about it. And I think that's probably a good place for it. As for these guys, I mean, what if we were to do a little road just here? So grab that type of road, bring it out to about there. Grab you, put you on that road. That's not so bad. And what I can do with it again, much like the, uh, the other one, is just sort of move it down like this. So it doesn't take up quite as much space and sort of do something like that as well. So that looks fine to me. I think I am going to want to put some roads going around this entire thing as well. So something like this and something like this to just surround it. And then probably some fences as well, just to make it look a little more official. But I think that's fine. It's far enough away from the runways for me to be comfortable with it. I don't know if it's realistic, don't get me wrong, but it's it's far enough away that I don't really have any issue with it. So what I think I'll do in terms of fences is, I mean, we could use curbs. I think that might be a little bit silly. We could use these tiled walls. I've not really used those anywhere. They're kind of interesting looking as well, so... Sure, let's let's use these and see what they uh, they end up looking like. So I'll go around and grab all of the segments and all of the nodes. And then we'll go ahead and just level this thing to the corner. And then just raise it up a little bit. And actually, that's kind of a nice looking wall, I've got to be honest. It's, it's interesting looking is what it is. And I think what I can do is just grab this node, bring it up to about there... Grab this one and bring it up to about there. And that seems fine. We could probably even go ahead and put some... Uh, we could probably put some bushes in here just to make it look a little more decorative. But that's that's fine by me. And uh, as for this guy, let's turn off building selection. Let's bring that up to there. But it will not actually function as a road that people can sort of turn on. So that's fine by me. I kind of like that. I do. I, I do kind of like that. Let's try and do the same over here to see if we can fix some of the weirdness going on with this space. Maybe some uh, maybe some walls and some fences and stuff like that will make it look a little bit less strange. Uh, so select buildings, level to that height, and then just bring it up like this. And again, I'm kind of okay with that. Although I would almost be tempted to say that we move this guy a little bit. So move this corner piece to about there. Move this guy to about there. And then we basically replace the fence with this, uh, with this wall. And I think that's okay. I think that'll look kind of interesting. So let's just bring you right up to the edge about there. So the back fence on this thing has been replaced with a pretty solid wall. And again, I'm okay with that. I like the pattern on it. I think it just breaks things up a little bit. It just looks kind of neat, so... That'll do for the helicopters. In terms of getting them power, that's going to be slightly trickier, but we'll deal with that shortly. In terms of getting them water, I mean, that's the easy part. I say, well, I say easy part. With the amount of times I've forgotten to do water in City Skylines, I maybe easy is not quite the right word to be using. That might be a little bit rich coming from me, but, you know, easy enough is, is the term we'll use there. And I think that's fine having those uh the the helicopters in those corners so i guess now that we've done that let's go ahead and figure out what's filling up the rest of the space because what we need to kind of avoid doing is putting any high-rise buildings in 
kind of honestly any of this space really none of it should be high-rise buildings whatsoever so what if we were to go in and do some industry what if we did some factories so like a furniture factory could go out here we could do a toy factory out here we could do probably not the petroleum factory but you know we could do something like the sneaker factory out here these to me seem like things that would be kind of in the footprint of an airport a little bit so i think that's what we're gonna do i think we do we do factories and i think we just try and make them all sort of have their own space essentially so if i were to go and do this and if i were to sort of bring this back a little bit and then i go ahead and say that i want a factory in there so let's do let's do that i'm not 100 percent sure what it's going to need but let's do that let's bring this road sort of down and around it a bit just so that this is kind of on its own road and that's fine by me I then want to go ahead and do some warehouses because honestly warehouses are going to help to fill up this space as well in a, uh, a pretty cool way so let's do just a warehouse there bring this road up a bit bring you down and like that and I think that works as well so that gives us a factory and a warehouse and some land to do some some parking on or something like that I do want to level these guys out though so grab all of these nodes maybe just delete you for a second because I think if I was to do this right there and then select all of them that's much better so level to that height that keeps them all nice and level despite this road maybe being a little bit weirder but that's fine uh, in fact, maybe it would even be an idea to grab all of these and just lower them down slightly so this weird stuff's not going on the highway there. So something like that kind of works out. And then if I just grab these guys, we can smooth them out. And that looks fine. So that gives us a nice factory there to play with. Which honestly, I'm kind of excited about. I've, I've been meaning to try and get a bit more industry into nerd shipping. But, uh, well, to be fair, I've been meaning to just get more nerd shipping going, so... More industry is maybe a little bit irrelevant on that. Uh, but regardless, let's go ahead and do a road right about here. And then let's go ahead and put another factory on that. So we just put down whatever that was. We have a toy factory that we can go ahead and throw in here. But we also have the sneaker factory, which is huge. So maybe this oh the sneaker factory can actually fit over here really nicely let's do that that's perfect and then the toy factory can just go up here so toy factory just goes there uh we'll bring this road sort of just straight through that way we'll bring this road sort of straight down there bring this road sort of straight down there and i'm kind of okay with that i kind of i kind of like that layout and again, it's nothing, you know, it's 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 definitely buildings, but it's nothing so huge that I think it's going to be a major problem for the planes. Unlike the trees that were really close to the runway there, but that's better. I kind of like that, though. I think I think that's kind of cool. And I'm kind of thinking that maybe we can get a... We could almost, almost get one of the large warehouses, but that's fine. Uh, let's just go ahead and do... Let me do two of these back to back. I think I can... So let's do one of these guys here and one of these guys there. Let's do one of these guys right next to that factory. We'll do a maybe a warehouse yard in here. So I can get one kind of central there or I can do that, which is more along the lines of what I want to do. Uh, and then I can probably do something like that as well. And honestly, that fills up the space pre pretty well. So no complaints from me i think the only thing we're gonna have to do is grab all of the nodes and level this entire thing because i think it's gonna look weird if we don't so all of the nodes and all of the buildings need to be selected here and this 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 is probably where this is gonna get weird but that's okay we'll figure it out don't worry about it okay just 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 trust me here i know i know you know, my track record with roads is, uh, well, it is 
what it is, but I think that's fine. And I think, honestly, what we could do is push this terrain right back and then do some keys alongside the highway or something. But this right now is fine. I kind of like this. Uh, so let's go ahead and just do a little section of road right there. And let me just extend it up to about there. And then level it to that height. So it looks like they can drive through, but they absolutely cannot. And that's fine by me. So, what do you need? You need timber and you need paper. Okay. Let's have this place store paper. Let's have this place store, let's see, unique factory products. And you're going to store unique factory products as well. What do you need? Paper, timber, and plastics. Okay. Uh, so let's store some plastics there. Let's store some timber right there. And then what do you need? Crops, paper, petroleum, plastics. Okay. Uh, so you are going to store petroleum. And you are going to store, I guess, farming products would be the uh, the thing we're looking for there. I don't really know. But that's, that's what we're going to do for that space. And that's fine by me. There is a good amount of space still to be filled up there. But that's okay. We'll absolutely get to that at some point. Let's just go ahead and bring these roads around. So that this is all nicely situated here. So we'll have you go to there. Have that come down here. And around like that. And then I think just a simple section of pipe straight through the middle should cover everything else, which it looks like it does. We'll have you come over there as well, just for good measure. And now all of that should have power. All of that should have water. And now the only thing missing some power is this guy up here, which we'll figure out i guess is uh is what we'll do um yeah we'll figure that one out we should start seeing traffic coming out here though which is going to be lovely that's exactly what we want we want this place to be sort of a like an old industrial yard and actually thinking about it i might go so far as changing the roads what is this cobblestone road what does it look like is it any good Ooh. I actually really like that. I'm not going to lie. I think it's a little bit silly for what would most likely be a pretty modern industrial uh, yard, I guess. But I like it. Ooh. I don't hate that one either. I'm not a fan of that one. I don't know what that's doing, and I don't know what that's doing. We also have just some one-way grass roads if we really want them. Which, I'll be honest, I don't really want them but i think so it's a toss-up between this which makes sense you know it's it's industry um hmm. see now i'm torn because i do want to do a more normal road in here i will say that i do i do want to do some more normal uh roads in here just because i think it stands out a little bit better and once i do some parking lots in here it's gonna look less weird but i really like those cobblestone roads i don't like the intersections on them but i think we're gonna go with the cobblestone maybe this was sort of an old industrial district where the the roads have never been upgraded for some reason that seems a little bit silly but sure although the lights on them are gonna be kind of weird to, okay you know what we're going to go with the industrial ones, and I'm going to have to put the cobblestone roads in somewhere else. Is what I'm going to have to do. It's just the lights and just everything about... I just can't. It just... It seems a little bit silly. Uh, so we'll do that. We'll go ahead and we'll do this as well. If it's going to let me, which it might not. So we're just going to have that push straight through. That's fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and do... Oh, wow. I'm not sure what I'm looking at there, but I don't know. I don't I don't know that City Skylines appreciates what I've done right there. What is this? Oh, that's two. Okay, no, that's two junctions right next to each other. Never mind. Uh, can we extend this up to about there? We can. And we can bring this back just a little bit to about there. And that's weird looking, so we'll get rid of it. Okay, so this is fine. Let me go ahead and throw some uh, some parking lots in here. And then we'll sort of consider it, you know, done enough for now. 
Uh, so in terms of parking lots, these guys aren't really going to work too well. Do I have anything that's going to fit in those spaces? I have these guys, but I don't know that I want to place a bunch of just individual parking lots around here. That seems a little bit... I mean, I'm doing it, but it seems a little bit excessive. Also, we need to flatten the land because that looks ridiculous. But uh, sure, let's try doing all of this so we'll bring these guys down here i'm this is this is gonna be ridiculous and i still haven't got that mod that disables seagulls i don't think so this is gonna get ridiculous and probably quite loud because the birds are gonna be going nuts but we'll do we'll do that for now uh in terms of parking over here i think what i'm gonna do is something like this and actually thinking about it this would probably be the better way to do it do just a single row of parking like that and then maybe a path behind them would be the best bet on this but we'll leave it like that for now i just want to go ahead and flatten this whole thing out because the, the parking lots being all bumpy and stuff is really annoying me uh so we'll just grab say that height and we're just going to hit this entire thing with a, a nice flattening brush right here just to make sure those parking lots aren't weird looking so there we go We'll sort of hit this bit as well just to sort of increase the height of the terrain there because that might actually look kind of cool having the terrain a little bit raised up between the the highway and everything else i don't know if it's that noticeable but i think it looks kind of neat and there we go so that'll be a nice little industrial space you know next to the airport it doesn't really give me any idea what to do with this space but we'll figure that out and i mean are we are we even, are we even making paper right now that's that's probably a fairly important question so furniture factory uses paper so it's here right so what do we need for this a sawmill a biomass pellet plant are we making paper because it's going to be coming in from the village and looking at it no we're actually not making paper right now so we need a biomass pellet plant and it's it's gonna have to go somewhere it's gonna be a little bit ridiculous i think but it's it's gonna have to go somewhere so what is this that's the sawmill right so what if we were to move the sawmill to say that space right so kind of right in the middle of everything what if we then move this wait do we have a larger yard for logs right now small log yard sawdust storage um let's move you to just across the road there and then let's go ahead and see if i can put the the plant in here i mean i say you know see if we can do it. i know i can do it i just can i do it in a way that isn't gonna look ridiculous and the answer is looking like a solid no so what if we did this and what if we move you just along a little bit? I don't think it's going to let me do this the way I want to do it, but we'll put you over there for a second. I want to move you back over here and put you there. And then I want to redo this road a little bit because I want this guy to come down here to that spot. And then basically we're just going to have it curve down like that with the straight slope on. And that's fine i think a little bit of move it might be needed just to make that look a little bit neater and then this guy this guy looks ridiculous because this guy really should have <sighs> okay let me let me try something here let me go in here with this brush bring the brush size down a bit and i just want to not that button uh i just want to do this as ridiculous as this might look I think it makes so much more sense for this entire space to be dirt rather than having the the concrete in there but then the problem becomes the uh the parking spots so i mean we could argue that those have been like i don't know spray painted onto the dirt or something um we could go in and do something like like this but even that looks a little bit silly so okay i've got to have decals somewhere right that's that's got to be a thing 
There's, there's got to be some decals here somewhere that I can use. So if I go into this section, that I can use to make this look a little bit less awful. Okay, I got really carried away with this, and it just hit me that I wasn't saying anything whatsoever while I was building all this stuff. So I put in some bollards, I've put in an archway with some lights, I put in some trucks, a bunch of decals to make it look like trucks drive through here. And what I want to do at this point is just put some lights in here to make this place sort of functional at nighttime. But I really don't know if I want to do like sort of this airport style light or if I want to try something else. Because the airport style light would work really well in sort of the middle of everything. But I think what I'm actually going to have to do is, well, hmm. I kind of want some old lights is what I'm looking for. I kind of want some like you know, medium avenue lights. I think these are, if I remember right, these will have sort of an orange glow to them. So if I sort of just sink it into the building like that, that should have a nice kind of orange glow to it. If I do the same here, that should have a nice orange glow to it. If I do the same here, that looks like it's a part of that whole structure, more or less. And I think that's kind of, I think that's kind of cool. And then on this side, I want to do the same thing. I want to just sort of sink the light into the building about there. And then on this side, I think we could probably get away with doing something kind of similar. That's not actually a structure though, so maybe not. But I think that'll be okay. I think that'll kind of work out. This is a little bit weird over here, but that's okay. I'm not too worried about it. So that I think works. And that will now, wait, does that not have power? It does have power. Okay, so that will start making paper, meaning the new factories will then become functional, which is great. So we have that going for us. We have the airport more or less doing its thing which is fantastic news. Also, I think, I don't think I mentioned this between episodes. I, I, I also went and fixed some traffic over here. I did a thing, uh, cause this actually sort of works. We've got some little roads that are just a little bit quicker to use for traffic, you know, coming, you know, going to the right or going to the right here as well. And I think it looks kind of cool. I gotta be honest. I, I do think it looks kind of cool, and again, it's it's largely working. This was one of the busiest, most backed up roads that we had, and this is doing wonders for it, so no complaints from me. And in terms of traffic flow, I mean, it's 75%. It's not great, but it has been worse. It has been considerably, considerably worse, so I'm not going to complain too much there. And in terms of this whole area, I mean, I gotta be honest, it's just nice to see traffic coming through here. It really is. Even if none of it's coming from that side, it's still nice to see traffic. And, uh, well, I imagine this roundabout's only gonna serve to get busier, but that's fine. We'll not worry too much about it. It's sort of, you know, outside of the city right now, and we'll, we'll deal with that issue when we get to it. Now, speaking of outside of the city... Ooh, we're having power problems. Oh, wow, we are really having power problems. Okay. Should we look into getting a new power station? Because we could. We absolutely could. I don't really want to put it right in the middle of the city. I'd almost be tempted to build sort of a, an area specifically for uh, nuclear power. But, I mean... It also wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to go ahead and just throw a temporary nuclear power plant in the middle of everything right now. At least I don't think it would be. It would probably work out pretty well for us. Uh, although I'm kind of wondering, so why are we struggling so much with power right now? This area is completely self-sufficient, right? Why, why are we having so many power issues? Because I was under the impression that this monstrosity of things out here was generating more than enough power for everything, but it might not be. And I'm also wondering... Hmm. Okay. We might need to... Uh, maybe we do want to just do a temporary nuclear power plant for the time being. Uh, I think we'll just throw it there. 
and that should pretty much resolve all of the issues that we have for the time being. I don't want to keep that thing there. I do at some point want to go ahead and put in an actual prop, uh, you know, proper, proper area for a nuclear power plant. But right now, I think it'll, it'll survive over there is what it'll do. Uh, now looking at this area, what's traffic doing right now? So do we have any traffic going from this middle lane and taking a right hand turn there? It doesn't look like we do. Is that because I've done? Yeah, that will be because I've done over the top lane management. That's fine. Okay. So this little airport for the most part is still relatively successful, which is lovely to see. This one over here, the more I realize and the more I think about it, doesn't currently have much parking. And that annoys me because it really should have. So let me go ahead and let me see what we can do here. Because I do think it should have some degree of, you know, parking structure. And that one's not terrible. This one is, this one, is this one bigger? It's about the same size. Uh, which one looks more, well, yeah, that one's, that one's pretty airport-ish. So that'll do. If I wanted to do another one, how big would I need to make the roads? So, what is, what would this be? So from where it goes back to, I don't know what distance that is. Why are these roads kind of weird? So like 13. So from there to there, from what about, let's, let's try that. Is that, it does fit. Okay. I am so good at city skylines. Uh, so let's just do sort of back-to-back -back parking structures like that. And I could merge them together. I'm not going to, but I absolutely could. Uh, what we'll do is we will go ahead and turn it into one of these types of roads. We'll go ahead and bring that down there. We'll go ahead and do the same here. And here and maybe we'll do grass on those actually just to make them a little bit more you know, fancy. Uh, we'll do the same in here. We'll do the same there. And that seems nice enough, I guess. Uh, decent, you know, chunk of, of parking. That's always good to see. And then in here, I think we're just going to do parking lots is what we're going to do. Unless I can do, yeah, I could do another one of these guys, but it's not really going to fit too well. Um, what else have we got? We have these guys which are also not going to fit amazingly. Although, if I did something like this, and I did... Oh, these don't line up very well. Okay, that's that slightly complicates things. But what if we did this and this, grab both of you, and sort of shuffle you along a little bit, to about, let's say there, and about there. Grab you and you, and you are roughly where I want you to be, but I want you to come forward a little bit. So something like that. I could probably go ahead and do a road. Ugh, I don't know if I want to do that road, actually. Never mind. So that, that works out, right? Just a little bit of parking there. I do want to flatten that terrain or at least smooth it out a little bit. It does look a little bit rough there. So if I just hit it with a decent sized smoothing brush, that should get rid of some of the weirdness going on. Uh, and then in terms of actually doing more substantial parking here, I mean, I'll be honest. I think I think a parking structure is going to be the way to do it. I, I, I think a parking structure is kind of the way to go. Uh, so let's do maybe the more modern looking one. So something like that. Although that looks really out of place. I kind of want the one that has the big sign on it. But it doesn't have the big sign. Uh, well. Uh, yeah, I, I, I still kind of prefer that one. So that'll do. And uh, we can do something sort of down here. We can do something back here. Maybe those areas are going to have, you know, open air parking or something like that. Doesn't really matter too much. But... Let's see, let's do you, 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 and you. And then let's shuffle you along a little bit to about there. And I mean, I wonder if I could do this. 
If I put it right there, does it count as being on the road? I think it actually does. I think that's close enough to the road to count as being on it. Which is kind of perfect. I'm not going to lie. So that absolutely works out. If I take you out of there, does that... Ooh. Oh, I like that. That is... That is perfect for that space. I need to do more of that. I definitely need to do more of that. But that's that's pretty cool. So that fills up that space. We have this little triangle here. We can do some sort of decorative stuff in. We have this space, which I reckon I could probably do another one of these guys in. So let's bring you right up to the curb there. Maybe bring that just right up to the edge of the parking structure. And then if I was to do that bike there... And something like, let's see, if I move you over a little bit. So if I was to put it there, or even over a little bit further, so it's more central. Hmm, maybe not, maybe not that far. Uh, if I did this, right? So if I go ahead and just put that there, is that connected to the road? Apparently it is. Okay. So now we have these weird spaces to play with, but can I just go ahead and paint those in with a bit of concrete and have it work? I sort of can, actually. And then what about this space down here? Can I do the same thing? I actually can. Okay. So that kind of works out, I gotta be honest. And then we can do some decorative stuff in there. We can do some bollards around this entire space. And that looks pretty good to me. We still need to get rid of the birds, but I kind of like that. And it does get people moving around the area, which is kind of the important thing. Yes, I know a lot of the tourists that are coming over here to see the parking lots, but I I think I've talked about it before. I, I kind of really like that the parking lots are counted as tourism or tourist attractions in, I mean, city skyline, modern city skylines, admittedly. But I, I like that they're counted as that because what it does is it makes them seem busier. You know, you see people actually coming along to the parking lots and you see them using them and then walking off and doing their thing. I just I just kind of like that. It's it's kind of neat to me, although we probably should go in and turn off parking on uh, all of these roads to make sure people aren't going to be, you know, avoiding the parking lots because that's kind of the last thing I want happening. So make sure everybody is getting pushed into a parking lot in one way or another here. Just the entire way around. No parking there or there or there or on any of these little roads around here either. Because I want everybody using a, uh, a parking lot is what I want. So there we go. We missed this one as well. And that looks like everywhere has been covered. So now everybody's actually using the parking lots, which is fantastic news. I like it. That's, that's kind of perfect. Okay. So there's still some detailing to be done at the uh, at the airport here. But we have some factories, we have some parking lots. We have a little bit of an expansion to this industry over here even if it is uh, not quite as good as I'd like it to be, but that's that's kind of cool. I like that we got the trucks in here. I don't know. I like it. I think this is pretty cool. Okay. Well, I think that's probably the perfect place to go ahead and put in a bit of a cut in the video. So what else is there to say? But uh, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.